नमस्कार हूँ आदर्श छू वेलकम टू आदर्श एजुकेशन सोसायटी हेलो स्टूडेंट्स टुडे वी विल स्टार्ट दी एक्सरसाइज 6.1 दिस इज द एक्सरसाइज ऑफ स्टैंडर्ड 8 चैप्टर नंबर 6 स्क्वायर एंड स्क्वायर रूट्स सो टिल नाउ वी हैव स्टडी अबाउट द प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ द स्क्वायर नंबर्स प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ द नंबर्स एंड द सम इंटरेस्टिंग पैटर्न्स दैट इज ऑफ स्क्वायर नंबर्स सो हियर वी हैव टू स्टडी सम ऑफ द क्वेश्चंस बेस्ड ऑन व्हाटएवर वी हैव स्टडीड so the first question is what will be the unit digit of the squares of the following numbers so here we have given a number that is 81 so what will be the unit digit if we do the square of this number when we make the square of this number whatever the number we get what will be the unit digit that is depend on whatever the digit here in the unit place here if there is a 1 then if we make the square of the 81 then whatever the digit we get its unit digit will be the square of this number and that is here 1 so one square is what 1 that means whatever the square number we get the unit digit will be 1 understand let us take one more example that is if the number is 3853 not is the unit digit number here is 3 so when we make the square of this number whatever the digit we get but its unit place digit number will be 3 square and 3 square is what 9 so the unit place number we get is 9 let us take one more example 99880 Not is the unit digit number is zero, and zero square is what zero. So when we make the square of this number, we get the unit digit number will be the zero. Whatever the digit we get, but the unit place number digit will be zero, right? So it is very easy to identify that what will be the unit digit number when we apply the square of any number. Okay, this is question number one. So in this way, you can now solve the other questions. Okay. Question number two is the following numbers are obviously not perfect squares. Give reasons. Here we have given some of the numbers which are not the perfect square number, but why they are not perfect square number? That we have to answer. So the first here we have given the digit is one zero five seven. When we study the square number, one thing that we have study is that when if the unit digit is 2 3 7 8 if the unit place digit is either 2 or 3 or 7 and or 8 then it will not be a perfect square number so here the unit place number digit is 7 and the if there is a 7 it will not be a perfect square number so that is the reason okay second number is here 2 2 2 6 times 2 so the same reason Will be apply here the same reason we have to write down here. And if the unit digit unit digit is two three seven eight, it will not be a perfect square number, right? Okay. Now let us take one more example two 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 zero zero zero. So here you can see the number of zero is one two and three. Now remember when we apply the ten square, we get the hundred. If we do the twenty square, we get the two hundred. If we do the hundred square, we get the ten thousand. That means we get the number of zero is even in the perfect square number. So here, in the perfect square number, the number of the zero must be even. But here, the number of zero is three. That means number of zero is odd numbers. and that is the reason this number is not a perfect square number right so these are the very basic things that you have to keep in mind okay by that things you can identify that the number will be a perfect square or not now let us read the question number 3 the squares of which of the following would be the odd numbers so two things here we have to remember that the square of an odd number 
will be always odd and the square of an even number will be always even. You can notice that, you can see that from 1 to 20 we have applied the square of all the numbers, we get the all the numbers. Now you can check in every number, for every even number we get the square even. For every odd number we get the square is odd number. So here the first number we have given is 131 and this number is odd number. So it's for it's when we do the square of this number, it will be the odd number. In the same way, 779 is also the odd number. So when we apply the square of this number, we obviously get the odd numbers. Okay. Now let us read the question number 4. Observe the following pattern and find the missing digits. So here we have given one pattern that 11 square is 121. 101 square is 10201. 1001 square is 100201. Now, 1 4 times 0 1 square. So, here we have given the middle number that is 2, but here we do not have given anything. Right? So, here you can see that whenever there is 2 0, we have to put 2 0 before 2 and after 2. So, here how many digits are there? 4 zeros are there. So, here we have to put 4 zeros 1, 2, 3, 4. In the same way, four more zeros we have to put here. One, two, three, and four. So this, the square of this number will be this number. Okay. In the same way, in the last in year, we do not have given any numbers. We have we do not have given any numbers. Only one is also not given. See, here we do not have given any numbers. We have to find out the total number. So, can we guess according to this pattern what number we get here? Okay, first of all write down 1, then whatever the 0 is there, write down all the zeros. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Then we have to put 2. Again, 6, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6, and put 1. So, this is the square of this number. Okay. Okay, let us study the question number 6. Question number 6 is using the given pattern, find the missing numbers. Observe, okay, observe the following pattern and find the missing number. So, in question number 6, we have given that 1 square plus 2 square plus 2 square is equals to 3 square. 2 square plus 3 square plus 6 square is equals to 7 square. 3 square plus 4 square plus 12 square is equals to 13 square. So, from these three lines, we can understand one thing here is that 1 into 2 is what? 2 and 2 plus 1 is 3. 2 into 3 is 6 and 6 plus 1 is 7. 3 into 4 is 12 and 12 plus 1 is 13. So, here this number is missing. So, how we can find this number? 4 into 5 that is 20. 4 into 5 is 20. So, here what will be there? What must be there? 20. 20 square. That is equals to 4 square plus 5 square plus 20 square is equals to 21 square. In the same way, here this number is missing. So, by multiplying which two number we get to 30? By multiplying 5 and 6. So, here must be there 6. 5 square plus 6 square is equals to 30, plus 30 square is equals to 31 square. Here two numbers are missing. 6, 7. So here what must be there? The multiplication of two numbers. That is 4, 6 plus 7. That is 6, 7 are 42. So here there must be 42. And which number here we get? One more from whatever the number here is. So 42 is there. So here we get 43. Right? So in this way by understanding this, uh, this kind of pattern, we can answer this type of questions. Okay? Now the question number 7 is, Without adding, find the sum. So here, whatever we have given is, we do not have to add this. We have to find the sum without adding. So see, this is the pattern that we have st already studied, that adding the consecutive odd numbers. So 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. 5 consecutive odd numbers are there. So the addition of those, this must be the square of the 5. That is equals to 25. So, without adding this number, we get the total, that is 25. So, here also, 
count how many odd numbers are there? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 12 consecutive numbers are there. That means the addition must be the 12 square. That is equals to 144. Okay? Okay. Now let us study question number 8. Express 49 as the sum of 7 odd numbers. So how we get the 49? By adding the first 7 odd numbers. That is 1 plus 3 plus 5 plus 7 plus 9 plus 11 plus 30. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and 7. Because 49 is what? 7 square. So by adding the first 7 odd numbers, we get the 49. In the same way, express 121 as the sum of 11 odd numbers. Because 121 is the perfect square number and it is the square of 11. So first 11 odd numbers we have to add here. 1 plus 3 plus 5 plus 7 plus 9 plus 11 plus 13 plus 15 plus 17 plus 19. How many numbers we get here? 7, 8, 9, 10 and 11 that is 21. So by adding this 11 consecutive odd numbers we get the total that is 11 square and that is equals to 121. Okay. Now question number 9 is how many numbers lie between the squares of the following numbers. So here we have given the two numbers in the first question 12 and 13. We have to find out if we apply the square of 12 and 13 that is 144 and 169. So how many numbers are there which are not the perfect square number in between 144 and 169 that we have to find out. So see, remember we have studied one more pattern, from that we can find out this thing. See, now here we can write down the 12, we have one formula that we use that. In between n and n plus 1, if we apply the square of these two numbers, and this number is a perfect square number, this is also a perfect square number. So in between these two perfect square number, how many numbers are there which are not perfect square? That is 2n. Now apply the same thing here. Right? 12 we can consider as a n. So n is equals to 12 here. When we apply this n plus 1 equal to 30. n plus 1 is equals to 30. Again we get the n is equals to 12. So how many non-perfect square number are there in between 12 square and 30 square? That is equals to 2n that is 2 and n n is what 12 so 12 into 2 that is 24 right so the perfect square number 30 is 169 12 is 140 144 so 169 and 144 in between that two number 24 numbers are there which are not the perfect square number okay same thing we have to apply here we can consider here is n square is 99, n plus 1 square is 100. So we can take n is equals to 99. And the non-perfect square numbers we get here is equals to 2n, that is equals to 2 into 99, that is equals to 9 to the 18, carry 1, 9 to the 18. Carry 1, that is 198. So 198 numbers are the non-perfect square number which lie between the square of 99 and 100. Okay, so in this way, now you can solve the remaining questions. Okay, so this is all about this exercise 6.1 and this is all about this lecture. Thank you. Thank you for joining us.